Montana covers more than 94 million acres and a wide variety of geography, from the mountains to its lakes, rivers, and streams, to the rolling hills and the plains, to its anchor into two of the nation's most beloved national parks, covering the state from east to west and north to south by air is one of the best ways to view this beautiful part of our country. Getting around Montana by air is a vital way for our residents and visitors to connect between our cities, mountains, rivers, and world-renowned tourist destinations. In all, Montana's airport system has 13 commercial airports and 113 public non-commercial airports. The economic role that each airport in Montana plays in its local economy and or the surrounding region is important and should not be underestimated. To ensure that airports throughout Montana continue to effectively serve Montana's businesses, residents, and visitors, the Montana Department of Transportation Aeronautics Division created an update to the State Aviation System Plan. Comprehensive in nature, the plan outlines a long-term, comprehensive development strategy for the Montana airport system. The Montana Department of Transportation Aeronautics Division completed this update that will guide airport development in Montana. It provides input into the FAA's National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems, Individual Airport Master Plans, and the state's Long Range Plan. The purposes of our updated system plan are to assess the needs of the state's airports to help justify funding for necessary improvements, and to provide information for governmental and other entities concerning the value, use, and needs of the state's public use airports. Airports that contribute to Montana's connectivity range from busy, jet-capable, commercial service airports to a system of non-commercial airports that facilitate more than 730,000 flight operations annually. The state system of commercial and non-commercial airports is geographically well distributed, providing connections to businesses and services in almost every part of the state. Since the last state aviation system plan was completed in 1998, the number of aircraft based at Montana's airports has grown by 25%, from just over 2,000 to over 2,500. Likewise, the number of passengers boarding aircraft each year has grown to over 1.6 million, an increase of nearly 40%. In addition to serving as an access point for corporations and suppliers, the state's airports also support hospitals, military, education, search and rescue, wildland firefighting, and recreational activities that enhance our quality of life. When I think of Montana, I think of the outdoors. That's our biggest asset is recreation. Um, we are pilots, but we also like to do other things. Once we land at these airstrips, um, yes, we sit and visit and set up camp, but then we want to go hike or, again, bike, go fishing. So um, it's huge for Montana, for the economy. Uh, people come from all points of the United States. We have friends come out from Pennsylvania, from Florida. They fly their little airplane. So they come to Montana, they get fuel, they get groceries, they may check into a hotel. They may even come back and have um, work done on their airplane. Agriculture and teaching Montanans about aviation mechanics and how to become pilots are also important to the future of aviation in the state. There's three college programs. There's Rocky Mountain College in Billings. There's um, Montana State in Bozeman and Helena College here in Helena. And Students can apply and get accepted from all over the country uh, and not only earn a college degree, but get all their flight ratings. The Aeronautics Division identified current and historic air system requirements as a basis for determining future airport demands. Looking at past activity, beginning in 2013, MDT has estimated that by 2033, an increase in annual commercial airline passengers will climb from over 1.6 million to over 2.7 million passengers. Air cargo is expected to increase from over 48,000 annual tons to over 73,000 annual tons and based general aviation aircraft are projected to grow from almost 2,600 to nearly 3,000. This study classified the state's 126 public use airports according to the roles each one plays in the overall state aviation system. 
It then analyzed 11 factors in the categories of access, airport facilities, airport services, and airport activity to come up with a set of facility and service standards for each role category. Each airport is encouraged to make improvements as necessary to fulfill its role in the state system. The plan recommends specific improvements at Montana airports in order to meet standards for runway length, runway lighting, taxiway types, instrument approach minimums, fuel sales, automated weather reporting, aircraft parking, and rental and courtesy cars. Over the next 20 years, an estimated $58 million will be needed at the system level to enhance and provide new airport facilities in Montana. Improvements to airside and landside facilities to resolve system deficiencies and to satisfy future system demand will be top priorities. This study identifies many actions needed to ensure that Montana has a system of airports to meet its needs. Most of the actions rest with individual airport sponsors cooperation with available state and federal funding. Airports meeting the roles of the system is only one step that is needed to ensure that Montana's airports will keep pace with future growth and development. The recommended plan contains elements related to each of the following, costs, implementation actions, priorities, and economic support. Action items identified by this plan will be implemented from the bottom up. As Montana's airports update their master and layout plans, other key facility and economic recommendations identified by this study will be pursued by communities, airport authorities, and MDT to enhance airport performance, like improvements to airport facilities and services, continued updating of payment management plans to provide maintenance needs, the initiation of improvements to runway approaches, updating economic impact and airspace studies, and the continued support of research and development into new air navigation technologies. The system plan update will help the Montana Department of Transportation monitor the performance of the state's aviation system. It also helps communities maximize their funding sources in order to plan for growth and development. Aviation is critical to moving goods and people throughout Montana, the nation, and beyond. Our state airport system plan helps ensure that Montana has a system of airports to meet its future needs. For more information on Montana's state aviation system plan, please go to mdt.mt.gov aviation.